Okay, so I've been doing a couple of things with the Raspberry Pi. Um, Hi, Raspberry Pi. Sorry, with, I said with the. <laughs> sorry, with Nikki's Raspberry Pi. <laughs> and she's finally getting me a photo of me to stick on Twitter because I keep videoing the back of her head, which is why she's doing this. Um, so I. <laughs> So I, f I first started trying to do uh, a live stream of this event from a Raspberry Pi. So I was going to use this camera, which is a PS3i, just a gaming camera, but it's got a microphone in it as well. So I started using the default Wheezy um, image, which I actually just appeared on an SD card I was given. I have no idea if somebody else had downloaded that and burnt it or not, <laughs> but I didn't. And I found that to be ridiculously slow. Um, it did not work at all, it couldn't keep up with capturing frame rate of 30 frames per second at 320 by 240. Um, so I went and changed to the Raspbian image, which I did download, and stick on the SD card myself. Yes. By the by hand, bit by bit. No, I just downloaded somebody else's distribution. <laughs> Um, and I found that to be a lot faster. Um, so I was able to capture uh, 320 by 240 video quite happily, transcode it to MPEG-1 video, and stream it over the internet. Um, and it worked, and it only used about 30% of the CPU, which is actually really good. So I thought I had loads of space for actually processing the audio, um, until I came to capturing the audio transcoding it and sending it across the internet, at which point the Pi freaked. And I was hitting a load of about 1.1, 1.2, and it started dropping frames and dropping audio and doing horrible things. Uh, so I still need to play around with that a little bit more, I think. So I, think... Yeah. I could explain partly why that is, you might have found that already. Go on, uh, if you got a... the, um, the CPU doesn't have a floating point coprocessor that's available yeah. to be uh, incorporated into transcoding operations. Mm -hmm. So everything has to be done as an integer operation. Yep. There are libraries that decode, for example, MP3 using integer operations, yep. but there don't seem to be any libraries that encode using so integer uh, operations. So that's a limitation at the moment. It, well, uh, so it wasn't MP3 for a start. Mm. Um, I tried um, a couple of different codecs, MP2, wow, a few others. The, it, it just freaks. Yeah, I, I haven't had time to investigate it. No, I've been on holiday for things since he's doing that. Um, the, the video, I think it's the camera that does a lot of the work for the video encoding. It gives a nice stream that can be encoded quite uh, pleasantly. Um, the other thing I tried to do was I played with Robo. Does anybody know Robocode at all? Do I introduce you to that? <laughs> <laughs> So Robocode's a, um, <coughs> Robocode's a gaming environment. piece of code written in Java. So uh, for about the past 10 years or so, well, I started doing this about 10 or 11 years ago, I was getting kids writing code that controlled these robots that would go off and shoot stuff uh, and have competitions where they could come in and write some code for a week and find out who was best and see what was good. Um, so I thought, first thing I'll start with the Pi, is I'll try and see how this group works on it. So, it is actually part of the app repository, so you can download and install this really easily. Um, it's currently slightly broken, but I've submitted a patch, so it should be fixed in a bit on the Raspbian image. Um, but again, it runs slightly too slowly. It runs at about 6 frames per second at the moment, which is ridiculously slow. 
Um, it doesn't look as nice as that, unfortunately. Um, so I guess my talk is I've just been trying to do several different things with the pie, and it's all been too slow. <laughs> I've been stretching it too much, and it just keeps breaking. Which is, I suppose the takeaway from that is don't expect too much. Um, maybe keep the project smaller than 